What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and I I did a train world a while ago, Cosmo. I don't I don't know if you ever saw the train world, but I did the I did. train world. It's one of my top videos. And a lot of people asked with the train world, they said do more. And I'm like, well the lag is already like 10 FPS. Like this <laughs> you can't there's a game problem. Like you can't have a train with like multiple cars on a track. It just lags like crazy because of all the collisions. Now there is a solution. We're at like 130 FPS because we've got a hover train, so I've always wanted to do a hover train project. It was like just a really big thing for me. I know a lot of people are like, you know, do a hover train, do a hover train. And I always wanted to do one, but I always ran into one issue, which was, you know, it wouldn't stay on the track very well. It is a completely symmetrical train front and back, although it does have a lot of control stuff. The controls aren't exactly symmetrical. There's some offset circuitry here and uh, that sort of thing, but it is a very functional hover train. And well, because the forward for one side is the reverse for the other, right? So Yeah, so it needed some yeah. logic to handle that. Plus, these lights on the side are actually sequenced to let you know if you're going forwards or backwards. But uh, we can hop like in that here. Feature. Yeah, well, I, I found with all the thruster noise, you couldn't tell when the thrusters to move were actually on. There's a seat on the other end as well. Uh, there's two buttons, and that's really it. I mean, the button number one is forward, and you can see that the lights will sequence and light up. And the lights on the other engine will sequence in reverse. And then of course there's a button, button number two for backwards. And so I, I really like this hover train. Obviously it's a very simple looking design. It's kind of bulky. It works like a very simple hovercraft. Uh, it's got six thrusters on either side to lift the uh, stuff up. And then it's got extra thrusters that give it the, um, the sensing it off the flat section of the track there. And then it follows this sort of U channel. And as it follows the U channel, there are sensors on the sides of each of the cars that uh, indicate the channel so it doesn't actually slide off that but it works pretty well i mean it you know it hovers really well it gets some mad speed going occasionally it, <laughs> it bottoms out there you can see and it hits the track and it's not, a bit of air too yeah not too much we can do about that but you know overall i mean it works really well um you know we don't even need track half the time i mean we can just keep oh god beautiful nice They're perfect yeah. just into the lake and let's then... just do that <laughs> Yeah, this is actually working, dude. I mean, if we put steering on this, this is the uh, revolutionary train the tra boat. Train car boat 2.0. Plus, all right, let's just go in reverse. We'll get right back onto the track. That sounds like it will never happen. I don't know, man. It's doing it. Onto the track. It's 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 going in that direction. It's it's uh, it's, it's oh no 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 no. 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 Oh god. And then the, <laughs> Oh god. I'm trapped in the train. Are you are you trapped in the train? I'm dead, man. What do you mean you're dead? I died in a crazy scrap mechanic accident of 2017. We're just going to put it back on the track here. All we got to do is just put it on the lift here. It doesn't even matter if you line it up at the track or not cuz you can see when it lands, it'll shift itself. So obviously, um we need to, we need to build more track in this direction. I'm thinking like we can literally go straight down that alleyway. Probably need to lift it up a little bit to dodge that hill. But maybe. Uh, eventually maybe make this track go straight down that way. Not sure. Choo -choo. Um but but for now, let's go let's go back the other way. Hold on, let me let me jump in there. Okay, yep. Nope. Oh, I'm on the roof. Well that's okay. We've nice. got we've got this sensor <laughs> hatch here. Go car hopping. Yeah. Oh, you forgot to close the door. You can that's actually okay. you can actually if, I can't get up the stairs, unfortunately, but if you stop move, there we go, perfect. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll have to adjust that, move this hinge point higher a little bit so you can actually just walk straight across on the hinge. Cause right now, when you dip down on the stairs, um, you can do it when you're not moving, but when you start moving, you can't get up the stairs. You have to like crouch jump almost. Yeah, y you do. I'm kind of constantly crouching. And uh, you can tell we move quite slowly up this hill. I mean, the main reason for that, of course, being as you tilt a hovering creation, all the hovering thrusters are fighting right. you. So, all right, you're 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 still on the controls. Go for it. It's all you. It's going to work, man. I'm telling you. You just need the magic touch. Oh, you're right. No, it does kind of bottom out a little bit. Well, we're still going pretty quick. Yeah, we got some speed. It does bottom out a little bit when it hits that. Maybe a more gradual hill for the next section. Yeah, you but... just can't, uh, you can't bomb it at full speed at it. You have to go, like, yeah. maybe half speed. I don't know. Yeah, kind of, like, tap the, the buttons exactly. there a little bit. But I tell you, man, on these straights, it really just, it picks it up. It does. It's got no issues with the straights. So, obviously, I'd really like to take this map and maybe put some more stuff on it. Have some other train types. Maybe try a longer train and see if that breaks the game or something. Um, 
coming up to the first corner here, so you have to go nice and slow into the corners. But you can see there, no lag, still at 100 FPS, which is That's amazing. True. I'm I'm so happy that that works. And you just kind of ease your way through the corners, and um, you know, get jammed up there a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> you just hammer the throttle. Come on, she'll pull through. She can do it. There we go. You just need more forward thrust, man. When in doubt, throttle out. Well, each each car has forward thrust, but then the problem is sometimes it just tilts know, but you itself. Need more forward thrust. Yeah, but sometimes it just tilts itself off the track with too much thrust. All right, so we're we're out of track here. Um, and obviously you can see this corner clearly is a little bit excessive. We've got this massive <laughs> platform here. Um, are you gonna get back to work? You were you were working on the track before we started this. Hey, boss, you gotta pay me first. Cosmo was supposed to extend the platform out to that red pillar. <laughs> Obviously, he didn't. And the reason why, I think, is the lack of motivation. So, yep, exactly. nothing motivates people more than music. Yep, exactly. I mean, wait, what? No. Money. <laughs> pay me. <laughs> what am I, what am I gonna, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, hey, well, you better drop a sick beat. Do you not hear this beat right now? You know, it's all right. It's all right. I, mean, I guess I could jam to this a little bit. Kinda, oh, nice! This kind of just makes me want to sit in a bath. Oh yeah, dude, dude, this totally improves morale. So, anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep building this track section. Um, it is. I think I need to rework the corners a little bit more. Now, you guys are probably all gonna say, well, why don't you just use mods and corner blocks? And I really want to do this entire map with no mods. Like, I want to make a hover train world. Um, definitely the potential to make some curved track pieces. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if there's, you know, something else that would be better. I had thought about, I don't know, this is like, what, the fifth or sixth try on making a good corner? And, uh, one of the things we had, we had, well, I had, I had talked about with Cosmo was maybe having corners on sensors with, like, turntables and that kind of thing, so the train moves onto a corner and then the whole corner rotates. And that probably wouldn't lag, but it kind of loses that train feel. Plus, all your trains have to be, like, the same length or similar lengths. And uh, I, I wasn't really sure how I felt about that, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, but I'm gonna build this corner, at least with the standard corner method. You know, which is, which is really simple. Just, you place a bearing that's kind of lined up with the piece of the corner, and uh, that bearing is like so. And that's the start of the next section. You attach that back to the controller. I found the corners don't lag as long as all the bearings are on the same base plate. So that's why Cosmo's building this massive base plate, which we'll have to trim back later. Um, but I do want to expand this map, have some bridges, have some cool like tunnel type stuff. Maybe some track, uh, crossing track type stuff. I didn't cool. set that controller at all. And like maybe foot bridges. Yeah, some over foot one. bridges, maybe some road bridges. I'm really glad to be getting back into some sort of a persistent world. Um, it is nice to to build obviously these individual projects, but there is some sort of some kind of satisfaction you get by uh, by building a project that lasts. Dude, you're going way far wide on that corner. Look at where the track is here. Yeah, I, I got carried away. You gotta shift like left <laughs> a lot. But anyways, if you guys are wondering how this train works, um, there's really nothing to it. All the all the logic is That's just right. to sequence it, it. Like absolutely nothing happens. Like it's yeah. No, it's there's just like really it's really no. Magic. But seriously, Black um, the the connections is just two bearings, one in either direction, right? One to rotate up and down, and one to rotate left and right. Each car has its own set of forward and back thrusters and hovering thrusters. Each car is basically its own hovercraft, and they're all just attached together. So each car floats completely independently, really, of each other. And then, of course, the uh, the forward and back throttles are just all linked up with buttons and, you know, problem solved. I do have a lot more track to go. Definitely going to lay out more stuff, but uh, make sure you leave your suggestions down below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.